just to give you an idea of how the uh, wing spar works here we've got the centre section that's been uh, cut with the uh, laser and it, it is uh, six millimetre plywood but it's got a three millimetre cover that goes on one side another three millimetre cover that goes on the other so this forms a, a box shape and the actual outer wings slip in to that box like so. Gluing the spar centre section epoxy with its glass Hmm? Boat glue. It's boat glue. Boat epoxy. Boat epoxy. This is never coming under. The rest of the aeroplane might, but this might. <laughs> the parts we've coated a, a watered down epoxy on the uh, um, inner parts to uh, help protect from That's the slight sheen water. That you can see. Yes, the slight sheen. And it wasn't watered down, it was used, we used a solvent. So uh, well, watered, just <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, acetone, I believe. And we've got some dowels that fit in those holes to peg it in and get the alignment right and uh, they're being nicely shaped by Graham here. Yeah. They're all a bit too wide and so I'm having to sand them down to fit. It's just making them fit. So that will have everything perfectly in alignment. The um, tape roll is increasingly unsupported. Here we are, bandsaw cutting. Bandsaw cutting, leading edge on up, throttling up on the uh, inner be a little slower than normal part of the wing section. There you go. Okay. So what we're doing is cutting this leading edge off six mils in, and we're going to replace it with a strip of six millimeter balsa to make the uh, leading edge out of. The um, jig that's been set up to cut a hole through the um, inner section of the wing to put the, the servo wires through. So it's a process of uh, drill with a sharpened uh, piece of brass tube. It's a, a real boring situation there. Yeah, I don't know what. Well, I think it's reasonably interesting. Spikes. No, <laughs> oh, no, it's boring. It, 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 yeah. This is Graham cutting. Um, I guess it's a leading edge to the fl flap. So we're going to replace the leading edge of the flap with balsa wood. Yep. So he's just using the um, hot wire bandsaw to um, cut through there and that's one of the last hot wire jobs we're going to have for a while, I think. So we're finally joining the, uh, um, the inner section of the wing to the, uh, to the spar. So we've done the right hand side and we're just going to glue the left hand side. So there's been quite a lot of um, cutting out holes for um, servos, wires, things like that to think about. We've done all that now and we're just getting it ready to glue. Gorilla glue. Yep. Good old brown Gorilla glue. Brown Gorilla glue. Going to attach the forward and rearward parts of the left hand side of the inner wing to the spar. Now I'll glue the spar itself.
pull string there to help uh, us feed the um, servo wires through once it's all stuck together. So we're using tape to hold it together. Over oh, I'll have to slow down. Slow down the printing speed. Now we set the back wing in the cradle. Oh, okay, we've got a slight problem. Got some alignment to do. Yep, we do. So what we're going to be doing, um, we're gluing together sheets sheeting. of Volta. Well, I'm not going to glue them, I'm just going to tape them. No, we, okay. So are, you getting them, are you getting them nicely matched? No, I was going to do them on diagonals with lips and stuff. <laughs> He's pulling your leg, okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm going to try and match them up. <laughs> exactly, in fact. <laughs> And Jeff is lining up where the servos go. Precision alignment. All right, so I'm going to cut out these holes in the lower side of the wing, which Jeff has marked up where the servos go. Tim has the sheeting all stuck together just with masking tape. And that's going to go on the centre section of the wing on the right hand side. And Graham is Trimming the, um, actually I don't know what Graham's doing, but he's, he's doing something. The bed. I know. He's trimming the bed. Yeah, we needed to trim the bed to accommodate the sheet overlap. Ah, the, over the, edge. the overhang yeah. because we need a bolster leading edge, which we haven't got yet. Right. We're making the uh, holes so for the servos on the yes. underside of the yes. right yes. wing on the top, at the moment. We don't have width the full width. With this, this well, we're doing that. The full width there's yet. debates going so on about how to shape the, the surface of the wing. In a wing. Normally it would. So hang on, which so which one's not got the full width? Effect? These are the holes for the um, locating pins that go under there, like so. so I can position the sheet. You can position it to that corner. Yeah. Okay, and I'm I'll, good here. Yeah, and I'm lowering it now. Yeah. Lowering, lowering, lowering. Yeah. Now we press. Work outwards. There's contact glue on there, so there's no room for error. No pressure, guys. No room for oh, error. It's really easy. <laughs> 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 right, let's do it. Oh, right, there wasn't glue on there. That was just a practice <laughs> run, guys. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. all right. Now we're going to screw it up. Now we got the real one.